Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man, was good, y'all. <sighs> you know, I, I really lately I ain't even been looking for content. It's been it's been finding me. It's been finding me. <laughs> you know why? Because people still hating on the flop. People still hating on what we got. People not understanding. You got to appreciate what you got. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I've been in a couple live streams lately. I've been in a couple live streams with people, man. Uh, but keeping it pertaining to the Ravens, a lot of people... Uh, even our own, man. F feeling like Bateman ain't proven and we could find better. We still need to get a vet. We still need to get somebody else. Who's who's willing to give up their star wide receiver for anything that we have? And I ain't saying their star wide receiver is good. I'm just saying, let's be realistic here. So it's slim pickings, right? And the only ones that's available is uh, notably uh, OBJ, who's coming off two uh, major injuries, not back, not not in the same season or nothing, but you know throughout his career he's had two major injuries, man. Uh, if we not, we we had. I'm just going to highlight the facts right now. It doesn't make sense to go into uh, off season and you don't have a vet player uh, yet on the team that's going to uh, understand the plays and all that early on, as one would uh, like to believe. How they got McDonald? You're not going fire wink this late and then get McDonald. That don't make sense. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> not saying that they still won't just for depth reasons. But I just don't see it happening for a uh, integral piece of the offense reason. Um, but nonetheless, I, I really wanted to get on here and, and uh, speak facts like I always do. Uh, a lot of people come on this uh, YouTube uh, pertaining to the Ravens. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I talk shit, so don't, don't take what I'm saying literal all the time, y'all. Uh, not saying y'all are. If, if y'all ain't, I'm just saying... Some people think uh, what they want sometimes, man, all the time. But uh, a lot of people been doubting what we got. I ain't going to call them out. I'm past that now. <laughs> but y'all know who y'all are. And, and I want to check this out real fast, right? They was highlighting people like Jalen Waddle, who, okay, first round pick, you know, early. Okay, he had the speed, okay. You know what I'm saying? A little Tyreek Hill, low key, little S type player, you know, right? But they don't understand that. How can you compare a person who got, for lack of better words, more playing time than the next person? All you can judge off is what the probability is or what their production would be if given those same, uh, given the same playing time. Right. So Waddle had over 140 targets, right? Exactly 140 targets. I got my little notes here. That's what I'm looking at. He had 140 targets, right? That's six less than Hollywood did. Hollywood tapped in at 
a thousand yards, a thousand and eight yards. He wasn't even top twenty-five. Okay. He, he don't get yak. It's not happening like that. Um. So Waddle came in at with six less targets, a thousand and fifteen. If that was his best season, I mean, it's not saying much. Uh, granted, he got eight, seven more, seven more yards than Hollywood. You feel me? What is that? How's that a diss? You know, and, and, and this is why it's important to do your research. I keep, I keep stressing this, man. <laughs> All right, so. Then you got these same people saying, oh, we could have Terry, we should get Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin is good. You know, he's better than what we have. Oh, really? <laughs> is he really? Is he really? Okay. Terry McLaurin receiving yards, right? They put, they, I, I ain't gonna say they progressed, but you went from 919 yards, right? To 1,118 yards, to 1,053 yards, right? But here we go again. 93 targets, 134 targets, 130 targets, right? Now that's a little bit more impressive than Hollywood's. But again, that's not saying much. And if you wanted to keep coming at how Bateman ain't that good, why Bateman got a better catch percentage than he did? Terry McLaurin catch percentage, 62, 64, 59. Okay, Bateman's is 67. What are we talking about? Again, give Bateman that same playing time. Give Bateman them same targets. What are we talking about? <laughs> all right. So, look. This is bringing me to all, all my conclusions. <laughs> my conclusion. So, these are all the players, right, that had the same amount, if not less, than Bateman last year. And I'm pretty sure y'all know these names, right? And y'all would say, if we grabbed them, oh my goodness. Oh man, we got a great receiving core. But never mind, you got that in Bateman. Robert Woods, Allen Robinson, Gabriel Davis, Antonio Brown, Quez Watkins, Darius Slayton. And he's the worst one out of them all. And I've, I've definitely seen uh, Ravens fans clamoring for this dude. I, I've never heard of Slayton. Never. Out of all them people, I've never heard of Slayton. I've never heard of Quiz Watkins. But I do know uh, he definitely was taken last year in the draft. Other than that, I really haven't been watching for him. But uh, he got a little more yards than Bateman. But, you know, I feel like you go put an asterisk next to that because I feel like NFC is weak. Defenses are not like how they are on the AFC. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, but, yeah, and, and, and let's read off. Oop, let me get out of the lane. Let's read off Bateman's uh, stats for last year. 68 targets, which, <laughs> come on, man. And we all know 146 of them. And we all know 146 of them. Not of his. Of other targets went to Hollywood. You feel me? Uh, 46 receptions. 515 yards. Which, of course, oh, that's not eye-popping numbers. But he's reliable because he got a 67% catch. Catch. You add Proche in there, and I already I don't need this paper to tell y'all what Proche's stats is, and that ain't no diss. 
Uh, I've, I've been, I've looked at them. I already knew what it was. And I kept trying to tell people, which is why I was making videos about it. But, you know, people like proof. Uh, we'll, they'll, they'll see live and direct this year. Uh, Proche has an 80% catch rating. Did y'all just hear what I said? Proche has a 80% catch rating. That's more than Jalen Waddle. Jalen Waddle was 74%. So, I know they, they may not look like your, your, your star because they're on the trash-ass team. Sorry, we're not a trash-ass team. Lamar is the team. We need key pieces that are reliable with great hands. And the people that we got, got great hands. And going to go out for that ball. I seen shots out to Sid Vitale, man. Uh, uh, putting the time in and the effort in to, to put these these videos out there on film of the players that we got, man. Because I watched one last night on Bateman, right after uh, certain Ravens flock channel slash Panthers channel uh, said Bateman wasn't that good. Said Bateman, it, it, he couldn't get us over the hump. He can't get us over the hump. He's not He's not enough. But he is. Because I watched the Sip Italian video and guess what Bateman did? He leaped up for that ball. Now, it was out of his reach. Because if you go watch his video, he'll tell you had Lamar, oh uh, no, that wasn't even Lamar. That was Huntley. Had Huntley put it on the money. That was that was gold. But they ain't had no chemistry, so you know it is what it is. But you see how much effort he put into the to the game, man. You see it. I know my boy Proche coming with. I don't know what's gonna be do when they roll. I would like. I would personally want him to be a punt returner, kick returner, personally. But that's just me. Uh. Aside from that, moving along, because I, I, it's not much else to say. All them people, Allen Robinson, we got Allen Robinson. Everybody jumping up, uh, up in the, uh, everybody jumping up and down, and and, and, and hyping shit. But we got little baby Allen Robinson right on the team. He wearing number twelve. Not not now. It's number seven. You feel me? It's going down, man. Give give Bateman 146 targets. I bet you you come away with more than a thousand yards receiving. I bet you you come away with more than a uh, thousand fifteen yards a season. I bet you. I bet you. Give Proche 146 targets. I bet you he had more than uh, 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 1100 uh, yards. I bet you. I bet you. I I bet you. You feel me? So let these boys get their time in, man. Even if they get shared, 90 apiece. 90 apiece, 100 apiece. We, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. You feel me? I will, I, you know, I got on John Nass. I'm still on his ass, but I see how analytics played a part in this. I do. In this aspect, not with the fucking plays. In this aspect, and and the stats that our players that we do have have that we have currently on the team. But I digress, man. Uh, if I need to, if I feel like I need to, I, I'll come back with a a, a show and prove uh, in your face, live and direct comparison stats <laughs> for y'all if I if need be. But uh, another reason why I made this video um, was it Allen? No, it was Bengals. Bengals. It was definitely Bengals fans. Definitely Bengals fans. So it was a video from Rich Eisen, Eisen if, if I if I remember correctly, uh, just recently talking about had uh, how Joe Burrow has uh, turned the franchise around. Basically, like I'm like what? Now I know the numbers, so now now they can't pull that bullshit on me 
They can pull that shit on y'all. They can pull that shit on the Bengals fans because y'all coming from the slums. But check this out. <laughs> Joe Burrow record isn't even 500 at a 500 percentage. It's not. So, I, I'm going to jump to another situation, right? It's the same shit. Jump to another situation. How the fuck can Marcellus Wiley and Sam Acho, whoever the fuck these dudes are, how can y'all dare, one, not put Lamar in your top five, two, put him in your top bottom five? You put Herbert over him. None of them dudes have a better win percentage than Lamar, except uh uh fuck is that motherfucker name? Uh Kermit. Uh Mahomes. No none of them QBs they listed got a better record than Lamar do. And then they even said it out their mouth, but still put him bottom five. The youngest QB with the best record. So how the hell Deshaun Watson over Lamar? Deshaun Watson, I don't even remember his record. It wasn't even worth remembering. Another under 500 QB. It's not just a win percent. It's his fucking record. What games he won? <laughs> Come on, yo. I'm glad I put that shit out, man. I swear, y'all gonna be sleep if y'all want to. I been through this shit, and this brings me to my next point too. This nigga, uh, the baby, whatever the fuck this, these clowns are, fucking jacking ass, still style stealing ass rappers, man. Hey, shouts out to Abdi Hassan, man. I wasn't, I wasn't talking about Nigeria. But we, me and Abdi brought up Nigeria. Uh, Ab, my homie Abdi is from Nigeria. You feel me? Uh, we got Ravens players on the squad deep from Nigeria. So knowing all that, we had a uh, conversation about it during, during the NFL stream. Also, was uh, shouting them out in the comments on streams here and there and all of a sudden the baby just pop up in Nigeria now y'all can take that with a grain of salt all y'all want and I'm only bothered by this because it's ha I blocked this dude and it's happened again with this recent Nigeria shit I made a video that it's all that yo it's all there I made a video when we played the Bills in the playoffs, not the Bills, the Titans, and we beat them. That night, that night, this was before the Chiefs game, obviously. The fuck is they beeping at? Oh, ain't beeping. The fuck is you beeping? Fuck. Nigga, two lanes over, ain't hype. I, I, I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know. But either, either way, look. Uh, all these motherfuckers might not uh, say it, but they be jacking the style, man. Not just mine, but I'm just saying I know for a fact this dude did that shit because right after we won the Titans game, I said we smoking on that 2K pack that Derrick Henry pack, all that. You feel me? All that. You know what I mean? And then the next, I don't know if it was the next day, I can't remember the, the, how it happened, but I know the next thing I see, I still got it recorded because I, I was tripping off of this shit. I see this dude post smoking on that Kansas City cheap pack, 
remember I'm the first one that told you. I'm like, what? What? Yo, that was a direct shot. That was a direct shot, bro. Let me see this nigga in the streets, man. <laughs> I'm, I just want to ask him, yo. Ain't, ain't, go, ain't gotta be nothing. It, 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 don't start nothing, won't be nothing. But I, I'm, I'm telling you now, I, I just want to ask you something. I just want to ask you something real quick, man. You feel me? These motherfuckers don't want to pay homage for nothing, man. But it's all good, man. We, we moving along. We moving forward. But, uh, yeah, man. These motherfuckers talking, Rich I talking that shit about goddamn Burrow. Like this motherfucker, the Messiah or something. This motherfucker's average. This motherfucker got two top ten wide receivers and they call them fucking elite. Come on, man. That's all right, but we're going to shut that shit down this year, man. I can't wait till we play them motherfuckers, man. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I hope this motherfucker throws seven interceptions. I can't wait. Lamar is 37 and 11. Maybe 12. How the fuck is he a bottom top five QB? How? List the records of all them fucking QBs above him. They won't, though. They don't want y'all to know this motherfucker, Lamar uh, Demetrius Jackson, is, is, is the great one. They don't want y'all to know that. So they're going to keep pumping this bullshit because ain't nobody, ain't nobody going against what they saying. Ain't nobody checking the fucking facts. And then you got people uh, of our own nation, Ravens Nation, uh, talking down and we got to get Bateman to speak out and let motherfuckers know, man, we ain't going for that. We got them guys right now. I've been saying Bateman was drafted because they knew Hollywood wanted out. Now stories coming out about it. Now people coming to light with, with the shit. Hey man, y'all 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 subscribe to the channel, man. If y'all ain't subscribed by now, man. Cause they 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 done hit a nerve in me, man. And I I I ain't let up since. I ain't let up since, yo. At first it was towards it was towards the flop. Not the flop, but it was towards the front office. Everything happened the way it did. I didn't change my tune because I see the change now. I seen the shift now that Hollywood's going and the fact that Hollywood's going, I can see clearly now the rain is going. I can see all the obstacles in our way now. And it ain't many. We just got to stay healthy. That's it. That's it, yo. That's it, man. I think at least maybe one undrafted wide receiver will make it. Maybe. But we got them guys. Stop playing, man. Burrow's fucking trash. Y'all Bengals fans just as worse. I, I said y'all almost in the comment section. Y'all almost as worse as Browns fans. Y'all are as worse as Browns fans, bro. Y'all fucking delirious. Y'all, y'all, y'all in fucking La La Land. They dreaming, thinking Burrow is fucking nice. Go look at his record, Bengals fans. Go look at his record, I dare you. Enter at your own risk. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Herbert is fucking trash. Deshaun Watson is fucking trash. He might not even play this year. Y'all brand, I've been asking this too. What are you, what are you gonna do? <laughs> and Deshaun Watson can't play this year. What are you gonna do if Baker isn't on the field this year? <laughs> You know what the fuck I'm saying. Shouts out to Lavelle Crawford, man. What are y'all going to do? We might not even play this year. They talking about AFC going to be tough. These niggas ain't tough. 
Who the fuck is who, who, who's scaring us? The only person that got spooked is motherfucking Humphrey by fucking Jamar Chase. Not fucking him, no, no homo, but this motherfucker Jamar Chase lit Marlon Humphrey ass the fuck up, man. But we couldn't fucking wrap up and tackle and get to the QB. That's what happened. And we keep throwing to Hollywood. Thank God his ass is gone. Fraudin' ass nigga, man. Don't make me, don't get me started back on him, man. Please. But, uh, yeah, man. The disrespect. I know, uh, speak for yourself, be taking, taking bits of my segments and, and applying to they shit. Cause how the fuck they come up with top five shit just recently? I did that shit. I said that, uh, Lamar was top three and they're gonna put him bottom five. Uh, uh, Wiley. Bum. I'll be, I'll be fucking with him for a little bit, but I'll I be expecting this shit. They got to appease they, they, they superiors. And if it ain't uh, the Lamar narrative, which he can't throw, he can't pass, he's not good, he's not elite, they won't say he's the fucking 37 and, and, and 12 or 37 and 1. 31 and 11 the past three seasons. I know that number for sure. But they're numbers. You feel me? Motherfucking burrow, bum ass. I ain't on shit this year, man. And Alan, we coming for your bum ass too. We coming for your bum ass too, bro. I can't wait. But Ravens Flock, Ravens Nation, man, just had to drop in on y'all. I had to speak my mind on this topic. Uh, Shouts out to Rashad Bateman, man. He know what's up. Ravens Flock, man. Y'all know what's up. We all right? Where we at? Listen to EDC. I'm going. I'm. I'm, I'm going. Uh, hold him to his word. I appreciate what's been taking place, whether it's been forced or 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 predetermined or however it needed to go. It's happened. Uh. Yeah, man. Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man. I holler at y'all in the next one, man. Y'all be safe again, man. Don't y'all, y'all protect y'all energy. Uh, I'd go in on what's been going on uh, from a uh, U.S. standpoint, nationwide standpoint. But it's I'm I'm not I'm not for all that uh, backlash behind it. I'm not for all the comments and people. I, I ain't for all that. I'm not doing it. I'm good. So I'm going to keep it on Ravens Fly, Ravens Nation, man. And I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. Uh, but again, yo, y'all protect your energy, man. Y'all be safe out this motherfucker, man. Uh, believe half what you see, none of what you hear. Uh, uh, and, and, and do what makes you vibrate at your highest, man. You know, there's a lot of wicked shit going on out here, yo. I'll holler at y'all, though, man.